Over the last episode, we learned how electricity transmits. Now let's talk about how to measure it, simply by the nitty-gritty, volts, amps, and watts. Voltage is the force of the electricity. It measures the electrical pressure. We can analogize electricity to water in a garden hose, then voltage is the pressure of the water. Whether the water is flowing through the hose or not, the pressure is constant, like the voltage is always there. The voltage shows you how much force is ready to be used and tells you what appliances you can hook up to. Let's say we have a 12-volt appliance. It would be perfect to connect to a 12-volt battery. Same as a 120-volt AC appliance. Hook up to a 120-volt AC plug. Amperage is how much electricity goes through the wire, is the rate of electrical flow. Amps determine how big the wire needs when attaching electrical components. In the garden hose example, amps will be the thickness of the water hose. The thicker it is, the more water can go through. If you want to use a higher voltage appliance, you can do so by connecting it to a higher voltage battery, but you'll also need to choose a wire that is large enough to carry the amperage needed for the load. Watts is a combination of volts and amps. It's simply the voltage times amperage. It tells you the total amount of electricity going through a system and how much power overall it's generating or consuming. Let's say we have a solar panel that produces 20 volts and 5 amps. That means it will produce a total of 100 watts. On your electricity bill, it will tell you how many kilowatt hours you have used. That's the wattage times the hours, what we called watt hour. 1,000 watts for one hour, that's one kilowatt hours. It's also the best way to compare batteries as well. You can use watt hour to determine how long it can power your appliances. Let's say there's a 2,000 watt hour storage battery and we want it to power a 100 watt load appliance. We can divide 2,000 watt hours by 100 watts then we know it can power for 20 hours. We can also use it to figure out how long it will take to recharge with a solar power system. With two series connecting 240 watt solar panels together, they will produce 480 watts per hour. We can divide 2,000 watt hours by 480 watts. Then we know it will take about four hours and 12 minutes to recharge. Once we understand these metrics, it becomes some simple figure up. Hopefully, this video will explain how to measure electricity and how to calculate the right battery capacity for you and your family. This is Opus. We bring affordable and sustainable energy solutions to people in need.